and welcome to Moving Darts Part 4. In this mini video we're going to have a look at how to move your dart from their basic positions to the princess line shaping. So let's take a look at how to do that. The first thing you need to do is to place your basic bodice block and just let me say before I go on as well that these blocks, half scale blocks, are available on my blog site so if you'd like to pop over there and download them. I've actually laminated mine um, and they're much easier to trace around. I laminated these in two parts um, so uh, and stuck them together so it's a good idea. So I'm just going to pop those to the side. This is the basic bodice block in half scale. So the first thing I do is I place a line on my piece of paper and I'm going to trace around my basic bodice block marking in all the darts and all the lines. And don't forget you'd be using a pencil, I'm using a blue pen so that you can see what I'm doing. So mark in the bust level, the chest level and the legs of each of the darts. So our waist dart and our shoulder dart. So I've already done that and I'll cut this out. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to plan on the princess line shaping. So it's this shaping here. Let's be a bit adventurous and make a nice curved dart right to the corner there. All I have to do is slash in along the line I've planned. And then if I'm putting both of these darts in, I need to fold them both in. If I only want one to go in, I would only fold one in. The easiest way to fold these darts in is to crease them along the dart leg and just fold them so that the bulk of the dart goes towards the centre front. So crease and fold in. And there you can see that both darts are now in the French dart position. Now if you have traced around that again and you can see that there's quite a, a large amount of uh, fabric in between here. I would tend to add seam allowance here rather than try and fold in the dart. If you wanted to fold in the dart and cut the shaping, this is what you would do. So you would cut the rest of the pattern out while the dart was folded in, but there's a, a vast expanse of fabric there. So what you tend to do is to add seam allowance. I'm just going to pop 0.5 centimeter seam allowance on there because very quickly. Because I'm working on half scale. Not ideal in this position and with a pen. So our shaping would be more like this. Don't forget, we would not sew the dart right to the bus point. We would sew it further back than the bus point. We don't want the, the dart sewn right to the bus point, so it would just be sewn to here. Another point to mention, which is quite important, is that when this 
body shape is sewn in. It's a little bit more tricky than the others with the French start to, to show you this. Let's have a try. It will fit in exactly the same way as the basic bodice would fit when it was sewn in with the darts in the original position. There is no difference in the way it fits. The only difference is that the dart positions have changed shape and that's it. So there we go, we have a French dart and join me for part five where we'll look at how to put the dart into another position. And don't forget to head over to my blog page to download your free blocks that are available there in the members only area and also it really helps me if you like and uh, subscribe to my channel, it helps me make more videos like this. So thank you for watching and see you soon, bye.